Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to remove and replace the AC compressor on a Honda Civic. The generation from 2006 all the way until 2011. Right here we have this one, 1.8 engine. So the AC doesn't work and the compressor is right there. So stay with us now, we'll show you how to remove it and how to replace it as well. So what we need to do, we need to remove the serpentine belt first and uh, let us show you exactly where it is. It's that deal right here that we need to, we need to apply some pressure on and this is with, uh, with a 19 millimeter socket. So if you go right there, okay, like that with a ratchet, you should be able to get in somehow. If a ratchet doesn't work, you can get a 19 millimeter wrench and uh, you'll be able to do it with the wrench. It's, it's super, super tight. So if you get a big extension like that and, uh, and uh, sock it over the wrench, you can actually remove the belt like that. You need to go counterclockwise to relieve the pressure of the belt. And you can go ahead and remove it now. You can see it's off the alternator. That's the easiest part. And it's off the AC compressor down there as well. Now uh, we need a 10 millimeter socket and there is a few more nuts that we need to remove. As you can see that one there, we need to remove that for the hose. So one is low pressure, one is high pressure, that's the high pressure side that we are removing right now. Okay, it's right there. Okay, that's what it looks like, just a regular nut. And uh, you need to make sure you don't have any pressure in the system. Make sure you don't have any Freon, otherwise you're going to, uh, when you remove the nut, that hose is going to come off and you'll spray in your eyes, can, that can seriously hurt you. So make sure you don't have any pressure in the system, no Freon, before you proceed with anything, before you even uh, start removing the belt. And now there is one more right there, that's for the low pressure side that we need to remove. It's a little bit inconvenient, but you can you can get it. This one, uh, this one is a bolt. There looks like a bolt. Okay, and that's that's what this one looks like right there. And now you can go ahead and remove the hose. You still have some pressure. Okay, just a little bit, not much. But imagine if you didn't uh, take all the Freon out, uh, it was going to explode and you'll be, you'll be refrigerant everywhere. Okay, so we have the hoses off now, the belt is off. So we, we are accomplishing quite a bit so far. All right, so now, unfortunately, the AC compressor will come out of the top. It needs to come this way, but the alternator is in the way. So we will need to just remove the alternator to the point that we can just flip it on top of the engine. We won't need to disconnect any, uh, the whole thing. So now we need to remove that wire here. That's for the AC compressor. Okay, and you need to take it, uh, take it off. You can squeeze there with little pliers to take uh, that clip off. Sometimes they break like that, so you can use a zip tie if they break later, and you can you can just go ahead and replace it with a zip tie because from the heat that plastic is really fragile and it it really really tends to break. Okay, got this one off and now, uh, as you can see, we will we'll just pull those out later and we will replace them with zip ties. And now we have uh, a few bolts that hold the alternator towards, towards the engine block and one of them is uh, right there, this one, that we need, to, we need to remove. And it is with a 12 millimeter socket, so go ahead and remove that, uh, that bolt on top. Uh, they tend to be pretty tight, so uh, be careful not to hurt yourself because uh, they can lose all of a sudden. That's how they are, it's aluminum casting, so uh, they get really, really tight over time. And there is one more on the bottom right there, trying to get a really good view to show you. Okay, you can see where it is. That's the one holding the alternator on the, on the other side as well. Okay, so the same thing, super tight ball. And go ahead and remove both of them now. 
it will take you some time but unfortunately that's how you do it on that Honda Civic most of them you can replace it from the bottom and you don't you don't even need to uh, unhook everything but on this one you have to remove the alternator first okay so that's the boat one of them that we removed from this side there and now uh, we're removing that one here and there is I think uh, we think there is one more we need to double check again make sure so we do it right okay and, and this one is a little bit longer okay you can see what it looks like longer boat and now there is one more on the bottom in the in the middle kind of okay that's the third boat right there it's like the one that was on the other side and you can get it with a wrench easier than with a ratchet because the water pump is in the way so now we can go ahead here yeah, we are going just to flip the alternator on the side we got that cooling mister in the shop now it's so hot that we turn it on we're all wet but we don't care it's so hot okay and you can see we are almost to the ac compressor now but unfortunately we will need to remove that bracket right here with two bolts that holds the alternator in order to be able to remove the ac compressor okay so we'll go ahead and remove these two bolts now you can see the one right there okay that's the second boat that uh, that's the first one actually that came out second one is uh, okay let me see if i can get a good view right there on the bottom of the mount once we pull it out we'll, we'll show you where it is okay we got this one out now uh well we got the boat loose at least working on cars is so unpredictable i mean every vehicle is so different nowadays Honda usually are pretty easy to work on with some exceptions like the AC on most of the vehicles are it's super easy to replace the compressor on this one not so easy and we have it right here now so we have a couple bolts on top that we need to remove you can see we have that one there and you have to be careful with those and the other one is right there and we drop the two and there is a third one that's on the bottom which is really really hard to see but once we remove the compressor we'll show you where it is are we getting the third bolt out and now there is actually one more after that i'll show you we'll show you exactly where that one is okay you can see that's the new the new compressor that we got here and uh you, you can get it uh, online you can get it online they're pretty inexpensive online compared to going to the parts store okay and that's a compressor right here brand new we use them in the past uh, they work pretty good and okay let me show you now that's where the bolts are two right here one here and one there those are the two on the bottom so those are the ones we're working on right now we need to go ahead and remove them all, all of them are with a 12 12 millimeter socket wrench whatever is more convenient for you okay so right there now we have uh, those two bolts on top again we just removed the two on the bottom ones because they're the ones that are not so uh, easy to reach and if you remove the two on top there is a possibility that the compressor will be hanging and it will be a little bit harder to remove it so go ahead and remove those last okay that's the last bolt so we should be able to pull the compressor out now and uh, it goes up and then comes out in an angle we should mess with it and it will come out somehow that thing is pain in the butt to work with okay almost almost out of there now hopefully we don't break anything else by the time we pull it you have to turn it and you find the sweet spot that it's going to come out okay almost there right there that's the old compressor guys you can see that's the old one not working uh, i think the problem is in the clutch but just to get the clutch it's it's about the same same price almost as getting a new compressor so we will definitely go with a new compressor that's that's the replacement one okay right there now 
and uh, it, it's, it comes with oil so it's already charged with oil so we, need, we don't need to add any oil all we'll do is just that uh, refrigerant so we'll have a video how to do that and now you go ahead and put everything back together in uh, reverse order that we took it apart thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out our main channel as well it's going pretty fast it's in the description below we have some uh, some really cool videos there